okay? Yeah. Okay, give. have to, just to do the job. Don't let their looks fool you. And you, what do you know about car? I put together a 69 Mustang in high school. Indy 500 heads, bells were stainless, board and stroked, three-quarter racing cam, but that's history, Lieutenant. Recent history. You still have that car? Uh-uh. No, 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 I sold it when I got married. With a wife and kid, you know. My go-fast days are over. They were over. I'll take them. Report to my office 0900 in the morning. Maybe, Lieutenant. I'm not quite sure I heard you right, officer. We listen to what somebody dreams up for us. And then we decide. Keep giving it to me straight, Abrams? This the way you run your store? These men like Shay need the confidence that they can handle what somebody else in the department put together for them. They don't have that confidence, Lieutenant. Everybody loses. And the undercover stands to lose the most. Can you and Shay and myself put it together in private? Or does everybody get a vote here? dead three times now they've hit the mo goes down like clockwork the ski mask comes down on everybody with his be cool or be dead warning the silk stocking hits the registers the halloween mask puts new customers prone on the floor he's self-smoking some of our witnesses say he sounds as if he's almost pleading with them to follow instructions but the piece he uses gets his message across has anyone shot in any of these robbers the one in the silk stocking worked over a delivery boy in the first robbery. No one was hurt on the second, but they got away with 20000 though. What about the third robbery? 18000 in cash. This time, the one in the silk stocking killed the store manager. Seems like he didn't get his safe opened up fast enough. Nobody's gonna get hurt. Just stay down. It's gonna be okay. Okay, hold it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Hold on, hold on. Put the money in the sack. Oh, get in there. He wasn't cool. Well, you keep cool. Wait. You set off the sign of the alarm. No. no yeah, I you did. Think. You took that hundred dollars out of there. No, don't. She set off the sign of the alarm. She can get us out of here. Come on. Supermarkets here, here, and here. There's not much we can put together in a geographic pattern. But there is one distinctive M.O. in every one of these robberies. They use stolen cars. A different one every time, and they dump them in the hills every time. And they don't just steal any car. They steal kids' cars. You know, hot rodders. Customized bodies, souped-up engines. Plants. We'll 
Okay, hold on. Slow him down. Okay, head for the hills, Ernie. There's no way they're gonna get us now. You're doing your thing, Ernie, baby. You're doing your thing. kid's car three times running by accident somehow they got to know what they're getting so you want me to go out and play undercover tag with these car buffs all over town is that it car clubs are hot rodders the young ones that's right lieutenant there are hundreds of car clubs in this town if you got any suggestions where to start look kid putting you undercover is just another approach for me to take you figure it out you're the expert with the long hair. Abrams. Yeah, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Mitchell. Where? Who's on the follow-up? Right, I'll be right over. Well, they just hit again. Shot a security guard. Took a cashier's hostage. He's critical. She's in hysterics. They're animals and I want them stopped, Shay. A holder for a handleless coffee cup. You know, you're a real tail puller, Shay. Well, the count is escalating. Yeah. I don't think they'd mind adding an undercover cop to their record. Do you? Daddy's girl? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Mm. Hey, I'm gonna get jealous. Yeah? Yeah. What good? Uh, you know something, Shay? What? You put Cindy's pajama bottoms on backwards. Oh, no. It's okay, though. Come on, hop in the bed. Come on. Just because you have something else on your mind, like you have all evening, huh? Hey! Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. I met this lieutenant today. A guy named Mitchell. He runs one of those specialized outfits you know major crimes surveillance a real elite group of cops well, what do they do well they tail these guys until a crime goes down and then they either book them or they bury them and that's about 60 40. That sounds awful yeah well that's their reputation and i can really see where they got it this guy mitchell is ice cold yeah well maybe that comes from his job i mean dealing with criminals like that day in and day out yeah maybe I don't know. I just don't think a man should let it happen, that's all. I mean, especially not a cop. There's got to be room for something else in your life. Hmm. What you're trying to tell me is you're going to go work for this Lieutenant Mitchell, right? <laughs> you know me like a bookie. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe clean, Lieutenant. Hey, what about hair, clothing particles, anything like that? I'm sorry, this car is telling us nothing. Well, I disagree, Lieutenant. First off, it's not a typical showpiece. Secondly, this car wasn't outfitted for uh, street drags or hopped up for high-speed racing. If it's none of that, then what is it? You put this engine together with that modified suspension, and you got a car that belongs to a very special breed, Lieutenant. Hill racers. Hill racers? Uh-huh. That's right. This car is set up to do hairpin turns on the edges of a cliff that drops maybe, oh, I don't know, a thousand feet. Wonderful. 
Now, what has that got to do with nailing these guys? Well, we were talking about hundreds of car clubs. Now we're talking about maybe less than half a dozen. Ernie? Yeah, Mom. Hello, Monica. Hi, Mrs. Dean. I uh, left something in the van. I'll be back in just a minute, okay? Well, how uh, did your day go? Oh, uh, real good. Yeah, I stopped by Martin Motors, and it seems I got a couple months of vacation coming up, so I had to be able to work for the service department again. Ernie, I know there's nothing wrong with being good with cars and engines, but I always imagine... Ernie, couldn't you consider going back to school I and... I know, Mom, I know. Deb is a lawyer and a good one. Can you imagine me a lawyer? Really? If you tried, maybe, Ernie, you could have. Okay. Well, don't stay out there again all night. Please? Okay, yeah, I won't. You get some rest, okay? Good night. Night. Boy, don't you? Seems to me I spent a couple bucks on you Saturday night. I wasn't talking about me, Ernie. I was worrying about my man. This toy is gonna make me king of the hill. Look at that, Cranberry. I think we got a new kid on the block. Yeah, they come up once a week to get their tail feathers plucked. Bobby, why don't you go on out there and show them how it's done? Open the yellow gate, Teddy. We got ourselves a race. Now, you watch out for those black and whites. They're out in force today. Got a lesson without paying for it. It's a little too much car. He's a little tight, but he's anxious to learn. They uh, call this place the grandstands, and they call me Bobby. Hi, Dan. Dan Coleman. Dan Coleman, everybody. He'd like to join us, Bad Hill Racers. Dan, Cranberry Crawford. He's the king. How are you, Cranberry? Glad to see you survive that run. That horsepower you're so proud of almost put you in the canyon. <laughs> you're telling me. Yours? Yeah, it's kind of like owning the fastest gun in the West. It's always somebody new coming around, trying to beat her. But our biggest competition is the cops. They don't seem to like our safety rules. Cranberry's the king of the hill. Nobody can tell you better than him. 
and nobody can beat him. You know, you built up quite a name, buddy. And I just wanted to check you out. Let's get him a beer, Bobby. Sure enough. I'll see it. See you, Lieutenant. Matt is here on the dock waiting for you. I wasn't sure whether or not Lieutenant Mitchell would have time to see me with all the uh, shooting going on last night. That was last night. Today's a new day. Yeah, those savings in Lone Bandits sure did pick the wrong day, didn't they? Either that or had a hell of a lot of bad luck. I picked a day, they made their own luck. Each of the suspects was killed instantly while attempting to escape from their getaway car after it failed to start. You don't call that bad luck? Mm -mm. I had their distributor. And that's the way it goes, Shay. They call the tune, I play the piano. Now, come on, what's happening with you? Okay, I think I'm playing with the right covey of hill racers. Those four cars that were stolen came from different neighborhoods, but they all belong to owners who race the same stretch of the road and hang out at the grandstand. How's that? It's a start. A start? Nothing. My man's had only a few days. The rest of the department has had weeks. All right, all right, it's not a bad start. What else? I need $300. $300 for what? Get my car strapped down right. Strapped down, what's that? Right. Work on the suspension. It's the only way I'm gonna convince those guys that I'm interested. It's gonna cost you $300. You know something? Undercover cop or not, I never did have much trust for long hairs. Hey, that figures, Lieutenant. You're not the trusting type, are you? Hey, I see you got your wheels back, Teddy. Yeah. Now let him try to steal it. I just blew a week's pay on an alarm system. <laughs> That's really great, Teddy. Hey, Teddy, what's with Cranberry? We saw him on the hill coming up. Oh, he's breaking in a new kid. Dan Coleman. You know what? I don't think Cranberry wants to put himself on the line. Well, that's his problem, because I'm here and I'm tired of waiting for him. Hey, check the truck. Well, that's a problem. Civilians think this hill belongs to them. You got it? You watching? All right. Watch out for the tourists. Dead man's. That's what tripped you up. Too many racers think they can win right here. That's why I call it dead man's. Now, you don't do it like this until you for sure know it won't kill you. Don't you try it at this speed. Sooner or later, he's gonna have to take me on. If he doesn't call me out, I'm gonna call him. One way or the other, it's gonna happen. Didn't feel so much like a family car then, did it? No. Maybe I ought to take on your star pupil, Cranberry, so you know you're not ready for me yet, huh? Yeah, maybe I'm just trying to keep you from looking too bad in front of your friends. Don't you worry about me, okay? In the meantime, maybe Dan here would like some experience. Oh, no, I... Well, you're ready to try. Well, if you just put your mind to what I told you, you can eat it up. There's nothing like it. Okay. Okay, Cranberry, but next time it's you. Cranberry. Just trying to even stay close to Dean. He's the one that led the robberies, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know what they mean to him yet, or how much. But I do know that when he's racing the hill, that it means more to him than anything else in his life. And I gotta tell you, <laughs> that really is kind of fun. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I feel anymore. I just know that I'm a cop. And I know that I was proud when I walked into Mitchell's office and I told him that Ernie Dean and his buddies were prime suspects. I saw the look on his face and I swear to God, Joe, I, it scared the hell out of me. It scared me because I realized that I was a part of this whole thing because I'm a cop. And? And I don't know if I can keep on being a part of it. I started wondering if maybe Mitchell and his, and his men actually enjoyed what they were doing. Maybe he could have talked one of his suspects down instead of what they did at that savings and loan job. Yeah, but those men were armed. I mean, they killed people before Mitchell even got to I them. I know. Listen, he even showed me pictures of their victims. And that brought me back to a whole different kind of reality. Victims. Yeah. I mean, innocent people. I started feeling this incredible anger well up inside me, like, like I want to revenge them. And that's what really scared me. I saw myself becoming, becoming another Aaron Mitchell. And I don't ever want to be that. Why don't you talk to Abrams? What am I going to say? I want out. I can't say that. Because Mitchell, or no Mitchell, I made a commitment. And I got to see it through. Seems to like your new friend there, right? I like the way he handled himself on the hill the other day. He never got close, but he didn't give up either. I like him. I don't like him. He's smooth. He's too smooth. This jerk just shows up out of nowhere. Come on. Ernie had him checked out. Bakersfield High School dropout. Trouble in Costa Mesa. A little good old county jail time. Is that right? Yeah. Think maybe you're getting a little paranoid, Paul? Listen, pal, the only reason that we brought somebody else in on this is because you froze up again. You got that? Polly, that's enough. No, that's okay. She's right. I froze. It just happened. It all just happened. Hey, uh, what is this, buddy? First you try to take me on the hill and, uh... That's my girl. Hey. No, I got no chance on either count. And we're all running a bad third behind your jack. Well, that's all I know how to do. That's not true, Ernie. Anytime you've ever applied yourself, school or the army, you could do anything. Sure. Why don't you go get us a couple of beers, okay? Is she right about that, Ernie? Why do you want the crown so bad, man? Oh, well. Not that easy to explain, I guess. I just know Cranberry's got to take me on sooner or later. No more excuses. There's nothing I want more than being number one. Nothing else I can remember ever wanting that much. Yeah, well, it's one kind of ambition. Except I don't quite know where it takes you. Not now, Ma, huh? I know, Ernie, I'm sorry. Must be something to it. I'm showing the Williams house again. If I go into escrow with them, maybe we can have dinner tomorrow night and celebrate. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Have fun. Try not to wreck the place. <laughs> See ya. She's a nice lady. Yeah. Yeah, if my father hadn't died when he was so young, she'd be living a whole different life. What about you, buddy? Well, I guess you can't miss what you never had, right? I don't know. If I had a choice between a split level and a new set of manifolds, <laughs> there'd be no contest. Yeah, I know what you mean. They're awful expensive, though. Well, that all depends on how you take delivery. Surveillance Mitchell. We're not guessing anymore. 
I just got an invite. They're going to caper. Where? Well, they wouldn't tell me. I'm supposed to meet him in a half an hour on the corner of Laurel and Veronica. Can you set up a tail in time? Yeah, we'll be there. Uh, what about wheels? What are they driving? I heard a rumble that uh, one of the kids didn't find his nice gray Camaro in his driveway this afternoon, so... Oh, good. And uh, look, watch yourself. It can be tough out there. Yeah, I know. I saw an example of your work in those photos, remember? Looking for something, Coleman? Yeah. Cops. I saw this car on the hill the other day. Funny you guys weren't in it. Where are we hit? You'll know that when we get there. You face it every night. Hard times. Hard guns. Whose soul are you saving? That's what we're going for. It's your first initiation. There you go. What'd you expect, 45? Oh man, something's grinding. <laughs> Look, uh, I need the bread, but uh, you guys are in the midnight auto supply. Just not what I expected, that's all. You want out? Let me ask you a question. Oh, man. Be my guest. guest. Five, nine. Then pack it in. Roll call, all 800 hours. You just made a judgment call. I don't want them bringing in bricks and broken glass as evidence. They'd plead bargain and wind up doing 90 days in a county jail. It involved the life of an officer. Yeah, it did. Honey, what is the matter with her? She's ready for a nap. Well, put her to bed, all right? That's what I'm doing. Look, Dan, I understand that you're uptight, and maybe that lieutenant of yours is not going to call. But don't take it out on us. I'm not taking anything out on you. Yes, you are. I mean, it's been every night for weeks up on that hill playing race cars. Okay, that's your job. But don't bring it home with you when you finally get here. Not like this. Come on, Sam. Where's Mitchell? Good. I want to talk to him. Fine. Where? I'll be there. All right. Why? Why didn't you take him, huh? Because the time wasn't right. Oh, really? Well, just when is the time right, Lieutenant? You, you had those guys dead bang. Burglary two to five. Remember? 
Two to five, hell. Well, see, you could take a window smash like that, oh, plea God. bargain it down to a simple trespass. No, I want them. I want them heavy and hard, Jay. Listen, I spent some time with these guys. And believe it or not, Lieutenant, they're not all the same. Ernie should be taken off the streets. But with a little help, he can be turned around. What about that sweetheart with the stocking mask? Paulie, yes. He's a hard case. He should be sent away forever and then some. But Simpson, come on, he's a, he's a follower. You're not hearing me, Shay. They're bandits. I want them heavy. I want them off the streets from where that flash burglary would have gotten them. Oh, God. You want me to set them up for you, don't you, Lieutenant? Yes, they're killers. I do not want them to skate away on some chicken misdemeanor. Do your job, stay on it. You want me to set them up and bring them to you with guns in their hands so you can blow them away and then get away with it. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? Fuck you, longhead. Why don't you just do your job? Stop being a social worker. Stay out of public parks. I'm sorry. What else can I say? It's funny. Always has been. I just have this feeling in my guts that he's using me to commit a legal killing. Dan, you can't think that is. I'm even sorry, funny. sweetheart. This guy has a tough time trusting me because my hair is long. So, yeah, I can believe that this guy's going to blow him away. Well, what are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. I'm either on the job or I'm not. Don't answer it. <sighs> Work phone. Might be a problem. We're going again tomorrow. You interested? You can count on it. Hey, nice car. According to what he told you, they should have picked him up 20 minutes ago. He's got to make contact. That's right, he's got to make contact. He's got to try and keep alive. And sometimes it's not that easy to do both. Extension 264. I don't like it. The guy's got to go to the head. What's the big deal? I don't trust him. That's a big deal. Lieutenant, it's going down. 211, Barros and Chase. should have been here by now. They'll be here. Hey, you should have turned right for uh, Barrels and Chase. Been a little change of plans. There's another market about two blocks from here. Paulie and I cased them both at the same time. Both gonna have a lot of cash on hand. Both got payroll checks coming up all afternoon. Oh yeah? Why the change? Well, we all got to get along. It helps Paulie's paranoia. <laughs> anyway, it's got to go fast and smooth and out. It's going to be a big day for me. In more ways than one. Uh-huh. How's that, man? I'm calling out Cranberry right after this little caper. He's on the hill waiting for me.
or be dead. This is a hold up. Everybody hit the floor. Yeah, hit the floor. You've gone nuts. I'm a cop, Ernie. Put it down. What went wrong? What about Polly? We gotta wait for Polly! Polly! 8K units, your code 5 is two blocks off. 211 in progress at the market, Chase and 7th. Get him. You all right? Yeah. Come on. Make the right choice. Make the right choice. Nobody will hurt you. Come on, just put it down. Put it down. Come on, son. It's all right. It's going to be okay. Just put it down easy. Come on. That's it. I'm all right now. Okay. One left. What's his name? Ernie? Yeah. I don't think we have to worry about finding him, Lieutenant. Ernie? Um, there's something I gotta do. It won't take me that long. Ernie, where are you going? I'll, I'll explain later. All right. But if we could find some time to just sustain a conversation. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'll hurry back as soon as I get done with this one thing I got to take care of. I don't understand, Dan. Now, Ernie was supposed to meet me here. Now, you tell me he's a fugitive? I'm telling you he's a fugitive. He's wanted for armed robbery. That's right. Armed robbery. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Monica. All right, everybody, listen to me. I'm a police officer. This is now a police matter. Now, look for your own sake. Stay back here and stay out of sight, all right? Lieutenant? There's no sign of him. Listen, there are four ways out of this canyon. I suggest code 100s on all of them. 
That's a Roger. They're taking their places now. Nine out of 46. Take Hill Drive East to Albury Canyon. 924. Cover Mandalay Canyon. your position, he's running. Same thing I told you. You got to for sure no dead man's. For sure. Well, I'm sorry it went down so hard, but thanks for a good job. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all you ever really wanted, wasn't it? Good job. I made a mistake about you, Lieutenant. Well, let's just say that maybe both of you got something out of knowing each other. Hey, kid. You still need a haircut. 